This is a scammer alert video. Positive Talk Daily. Today is September 10th, 2023. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mr. Positive Live. Check out our videos on YouTube at Mr. Positive Live. We're also on Instagram, TikTok at Mr. Positive Live, Facebook at Mr. Positive Live. We're also on podcast streaming platforms, Amazon Music, Anchor.fm, and Spotify. Now, we always talk a lot about cryptocurrency scams, and trust me, these are real scams. These are people taking advantage of innocent Americans, UK citizens, Australian citizens, and people across the world. Um, and I don't want to say all these scams are coming out of Nigeria, because they're not all coming out of Nigeria. Some of them are coming from other countries, you know, Australia, Canada, um, over in India. A lot of these people are smart people, but they're going after innocent Americans. And when they start targeting innocent Americans, we have to go after them, okay? We have to stop them. Um, these are what these videos are to do to protect people from getting scammed. Um, we're going to show you some documented proof of a scam that is going on currently on apps like Bego, and uh, Meet Me. I've even gotten messages on Meet Me about this. Um, it's cryptocurrency scams. They're just taking it to the next level with documentations, pretending that it's real. If anybody's asking for you to send them gift cards, Western Union, Green Dot Money Card, um, uh, transferring if they're, ask, if they're asking for access to your computer, it's a scam. Okay, plain and simple. They sound like they're foreign. They're probably a scammer. Let's get into it. 10 common cryptocurrency scams in 2023. 10 of them. Where money is concerned, scammers always follow the same true with crypto. In February 2022, cryptocurrency exchange platform Wormhole lost $320 million. So even these scammers are targeting actual physical businesses. A cyber attack, in addition to the uh, attack on cryptocurrency scammers, have stolen more than $1 billion since 2021, according to the reports of the Federal Trade Commission. Digital currency is a form of currency stored in digital wallets, and uh, the owners can then turn that currency into cash, transferring the bank accounts, crypto, such as Bitcoin, to different digital currencies. It uses blockchains to verification and uh, does not run through financial institutions like regular banks. So it's harder to recover if it's stolen. That's why thieves go after people that are, no offense, they're not saying they're dumb, but they're gullible, okay? especially older population. Even with crypto is a newer trend, thieves are using old methods to steal. Here are some of the most common ones. Let's get into number one, Bitcoin investment schemes. We've talked about this one many, many times in uh, Bitcoin investment scheme. Uh, scammers contact investors claiming to be seasoned investment managers as part of the scheme. They also call investment manager claims that they have millions of, they've, been, they've invested millions into cryptocurrency and then try to trick the victim by them putting money into their account or trying to open up an account that's actually going to their account. Okay. To get started, the scammers request an upfront fee. Uh, then instead of making money, the thieves simply steal the upfront fees. The scammers may also request personal information and identification. Uh, information claiming uh, that the transferring of tr uh, deposited funds and though gaining access to pe person's cryptocurrency. Another type of investment scam involves using fake celebrity endorsement scams uh, to take real photos and, and impose as fake accounts or imposter as fake accounts. Ads, uh, ads and articles will put together uh, fake websites that look pretty legit. And people sometimes you know, fall for this. Number two, rug pull scams. Rug pull scams involve investment scammers pumping up a new project uh, using NFT tokens or coins to get funding. After the scammers get the money, they disappear with it, and the coding for these investments prevent people from selling the Bitcoin after purchase, so investors are left pretty much scammed, okay? And probably a version of this scam is called a squad scam. This comes after a, net, a popular Netflix series called Series of Squad Game. Investors had to play to earn cryptocurrency. People would buy tokens for games and then earn more later to exchange other cryptocurrencies. The price of the squad tokens went from one cent to $90 per person. Okay. Eventually trading stopped and the money disappeared and you're out millions of dollars or even thousands of dollars. 
Number three, most common one is romance scams. Dating apps are no stranger to crypto scams. Places like Meet Me, Bego, Me, uh, PlentyOfFish.com, Match.com, even the ones you pay for, Tinder. These scammers involve relationships, long distance relationships, sketchy online relationships, where, the, where one party takes time to gain your trust. Over time, the party starts to convince you that you know they're real and they want they need money. Okay, after getting the money, the dating scammer disappears. These scammers are also referred to as big botching scammers. Okay, so a lot of these are out of Nigeria. These are mainly the ones you'll see. Four phishing scams. Phishing scams have been around for a long time, and scammers send emails and malicious links and fake websites to gather personal details on crypto wallets and key information. Sometimes they'll even do this with Facebook so they can change your password. They'll ask you to change your password, send you a fake four-digit code or six-digit code, and it's really their way of trying to steal your personal password to get into your account. Types of crypto scams. Give me a minute. <coughs> ah, sorry, allergies. These are types of cryptocurrency scams you got to watch, watch out for. Unlike password, users only get one unique private key to digital wallets. But it, if a private key is stolen, it is troublesome to change the key. Each key is unique to a wallet. So to update this key, the person needs uh, needs to create a new wallet. Here's what you would have to look for. Types of current cryptocurrency scam. Again, there's the Bitcoin investment scam, pull the rug scam, phishing scams, Man in the middle attack, social media giveaways, Ponzi schemes, romance scams, fake exchange, and fraudulent employment. Okay, so to avoid phishing scams, never enter in, you know, secured information with emails that are third party. Okay, uh, number five, man in the middle attack. When users log into a crypto account in the public location, scammers can steal their private sensitive information. A scammer can uh, interrupt any information. They can intercept any information sent over a public network, including passwords, cryptocurrency wallets, and key information that can affect your accounts. Anytime a user logged into theft can uh, gather sen this, in this sense of information uh, by using uh, middle the man-in-the-middle attack approach. This is done by uh, intercepting Wi-Fi signals and in entrusted networks, and they are too close to you know, they're in your area. The best way to avoid these attacks is to block the man in the middle by using virtual private network VPN. The VPN corrupt, it, it, it corrupts all the data that's being transmitted to the thieves, cannot access personal information, and it hides your real location. Number six, social media cryptocurrency giveaways. We see this a lot on Instagram, Facebook. You might get private messages. There are many fraudulent posts on social media outlets promising Bitcoins. They've even attacked YouTubers as well. Giveaways. And some of those scams also uh, include fake celebrity accounts promoting giveaways and lure people in. However, when someone clicks on the giveaway, it's taken to a fraudulent site that can steal personal information. Again, kind of similar to that. Ponzi scheme is number seven. Ponzi scheme pay older investors with a proceeds from new ones to get fresh investors. Cryptocurrency scammers will lure new new investors with Bitcoin. It's a scheme that runs circles. Since there are no legitimate investments, it is all about targeting new investors and stealing their money. Uh, the main lure to a Ponzi scheme is to promise a huge profit with little risk. There are always risk uh, with these investments, however, uh, there are no guarantee of any returns. Number eight, fake cryptocurrency exchange. Scammers may lure investors in with promises of great crypto exchanges. Uh, you may get rich fast type of schemes, maybe uh, even additional Bitcoin. But in reality, the exchange is not realistic and you're going to lose money. And that's pretty much what happens. And number nine, employment offers and fraudulent employees. Uh, scammers will also imposter uh, recruiters for jobs seekers to get you know your crypto account. So they'll even pretend to be recruiters uh, with the ploy to get your information to give you a job that's not real. If anyone's asking for an upfront fee, it's a scam. 
Uh, let's get down to number 10, flash loan attacks. Flash, loan are, uh, flash loans and loans for short periods of time, such as second to make a trade. Those loans are popular in crypto market, in the crypto market, because traders use funds to buy tokens, okay? On one platform, lower prices, and then sell the assistant immediately, the assist immediately on, on different platforms to make money. These money making trades are also done in one transaction. Because the flash loans are not, you know, they're not, they're, they're scammers' ways of stealing quick money real fast. Because again, you know, as I've said before, as I've said before, um, I'm not going to read the whole thing. We've done a video before on this. Uh, cryptocurrency can be a pretty big scam, and it can be hard to track down some of these scammers because they're smart. They know what they're doing, okay? So now we're going to go into... Um, what I wanted to look at here today on Positive Talk Daily. Uh, this is not the same one I want. Let me get out of this here. We're going to go to some photos that we had just downloaded today. There's another scam that's going on. And uh, let me show you first over here where the scam is. This scam is called the MT103 scam. Okay, and you may have seen this one. This one's a fairly, fairly new. It's only been around for about two or three months now. And I wanted to update the cryptocurrency video because of this scam, because I've been getting messages on my Bigo account, okay? This is a woman pretending to be uh, a, a stolen photos and everything else. Uh, this woman's uh, pretending to be a uh, normal person. Um, this is called the MT103 scam. So I had a woman, we started talking yesterday, okay? And she started sending me all these weird documents about requesting MT103 transfers. And we did a Google search, and it's a scam. It actually is a scam. Um, and uh, that girl seems to be a scammer. I'm not trying to say she is, but uh, most likely they're not in Nigeria. Okay, so what the what the what the MT one hundred three tra wire transfer scam is is on hand is a scam in which a person is tricked into thinking that they'll receive a large amount of money. Basically, it's a money flipping scam. Okay, the most cases you do not receive any actual payment of the MT one hundred three or two hundred two. Finally, MT one hundred three two way is a scam in which a person receives a wire for. Uh, a wireless transfer of $30, $30 million, of which is allowed to keep $5 million. And you got to send the rest back. This is one, this one of the scams are coming out of India. Um, and um, they're targeting YouTubers. And this one was on uh, Meet Me. And this one actually becoming more popular on, uh, on Bigo. Okay. So if you ever receive anything like this, uh, most likely it's a transfer of a scam. Okay. So do not fall for this. They say you can win $30 million. They basically get access to your computer. It's one way of doing it. So we were sent photos. I, I actually did screenshot some photos, and I want to show people what they look like. And this is the actual documents right here. We're going to try to scan here. And this is, this is part of the documents. This was what I was sent by a scammer. And, uh, yeah, it, it says requesting wireless uh, transfer investment. This girl did send me this. Uh, as you can see here, rights of the part of a party. This is an actual scam, folks. Uh, this is all part of a uh, larger scam to scam victims. Here's what it looks like. Total face of value. Um, you can lose money here. Uh, and they say you can win money. Uh, this, is, this is a scam. This is actually a scam. Um, there's a website. This is the fake website right here. Get out of this here. Uh, this is the phony website that the FDA, uh, the FTC has warned about. Let me see if I can get out of this here. For some reason, I can't get it to, but um, there is a website at the bottom. Let's see if we can find another document here. Again, total face value, 100, 100 million dollars basically they say you can flip this is a money flipping scam this is one of those scams that they're using to trick victims into uh you know trying to get rich fast type of scam and uh i was on bigo and that's uh, one of those apps it's one of those things you've got to be careful for it is a legit scam going on 
uh, and it's something you got to be careful of. Again, we'll read this again. This is one of the newer scans. That's why I wanted to update this because I was getting a scammer pretending. So it's called the Beware of the Sh Shift or Swift MT103 scam. Okay, and uh, that's what it's going to be told to be. They're going to use, uh, I noticed on Bego, um, I'm going to do a separate video on that one, but uh, they sent me a message like they were a regular person. Uh, it's a dating, it's just, it's just like a dating scam. They're just turning it around into a money flipping scam. The Swift 103 is a transaction fraudulent. It is not possible to send any MT-103 or MT-103-23 with any conditions attached. One way and two ways Swift MT-103s are a scam. Fraud, fraudsters use to take advantage of people's ignorance of steal, to steal their money. Though, Swift is a organization dedicated to promoting, developing, and understanding global industries and financial transactions. These types of transactions are not designed for any type of conditions or transactions. 103 is a swift, uh, simple swift message that is commonly used to transfer funds and banks. MT-103 is a scam in which fraudsters make it appear that there is a, a conditional transfer in which the bank will not release the funds until certain documents are completed. And those are the documents we just showed you. The sender has confirmed that the funds can be released, okay? However, it's not possible to send MT-103 or MT-103-23 with any type of conditions attached. Transactions involving conditions release documents of administration of lawyers and trustees. It's not a real bank. It's fake. It's a scam. Uh, on the other hand, MT-103 is one way of a scam in which the person is tricked into thinking that they are, will receive large amounts of money in MT-103 wireless transfers. Okay, so basically we all know this is a scam and uh, people are falling for it. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at someone that did fall for it. Um, greetings to all. This is Roxanne. She said that greetings to all in the Google forums. If you are if you are tired of scammers and fake MT-103 deals, be be patient and kindly this message to end. Uh, I decided to uh, disturb this post, just dis describe this post or disturb this post. Due to the fact that there are a lot of scammers in this topic, I have a lot of questions about how you can uh, just believe people uh, about Swift, uh, who have read a lot of internet and have heard a lot of people themselves, do not understand anything about this. Uh, these people do not do nothing at all except they, they scam. Uh, they simply cheat everyone out of their money and dissolve their trust. Okay, and it is. It's a scam. And they say it's a money flipping scam. Uh, you know, and a lot of people that are doing this are actually being tricked. Um, this poor woman here lost money. Uh, keep in mind that it's happening in a lot of countries and uh, this is basically what they'll do. They'll ask you to use direct wire transfers. They'll ask you to use PayPal, Cash App, Zelle. If they ask for any of this stuff, it's a scam, folks. Uh, this comes from Dr. Samin. MT-103 direct wire transfers, PayPal transfers. This proves it's a scam. Uh, Cash App transfers, Zelle transfers. Any of these, Western Union, only serious... It, it, it's it's fake. These are fake scammers. And if they're asking for any of these, it's fake. It's fake. Okay. I want people to understand that these are real new scams that are coming out. Uh, and uh, it's a scam. And I don't want people falling for these scams thinking that they're real. For Mr. Positive Live, I'm Mr. Positive. Before we go, 10 ways to know if this is a scam. Number one, number, number one if anybody's asking for personal information from you, everything from you know, social security numbers, state ID or, or, or license, driver's license. It's a scam. Okay. Number number two, if they're asking for you to send them upfront cost or upfront fees, it's a scam. Number three, if they're asking for anything along that lines, if they are, um, if it sounds too good to be true, it's probably a scam. Okay. Number four, if they say you can, you can give, you have to give them money first. So say, like, they say, well, we can take one hundred dollars and flip it into thirty, into one thousand dollars. It's a money flipping scam. You gotta be careful. Number five, watch out for again um, 
certain things, like especially on dating apps, you want to watch out for them trying to get to know you a little bit more. They're going to ask a lot of personal information, like what do you do for work? Um, you know, what's your name? Uh, what do you do? Again, they're going to ask a lot of serious stuff to try to build up a conversation. Okay, if they try to get you off a third party, off their main app to a third party app, it's a scammer. They're asking to use Teller. Uh, if they're asking to use, um, say, WhatsApp or uh, other, you know, other chatting apps, it's a scam. Okay, it's a scam. They can say in number six, they say again that comes back down to it. They can take large amounts of money, like the one MT103 scam. And they can give you large amounts, then you have to give them money back. It's a scam. Number seven, warn people around you. If you know elderly people, warn them about this scam. Warn them about these scams because these scams are serious scams that are going on right now in 2023. We just showed you the documents here uh, uh, from what I showed you. Let me just go back real quick here. These are real documents from a scam that's going on. This is a fake website right here. Okay, They cannot transfer large amounts of money. Here's a look at it. Total face value, USD, $1 million, $100 million. There is no way you can set that up on Bitcoin. Okay? This is all documents of a fake website. Okay? And it came from this website, Bigo. Okay? So don't fall for a scam like that. This is a fake scam. Just like we showed you in our top 10 common cryptocurrency scams, do not become a victim to a crypto scam. For Mr. Positive Live, I'm Mr. Positive. Watch our other videos on scams. This was this has been a scammer alert for Positive Talk Daily. I'm Mr. Positive. Thank you for watching, and we will be back here next week.